guys. How are you? All right, so I decided to um, make this little drawing video um, to just show you guys how I've been creating some of these things in this Tone Tan sketchbook that I've been working in that have recently garnered a lot of attention on social media. Um, now this is a Strathmore Tone Tan sketchbook. I think this is the this is the soft cover, and I think it's five and a half by eight and a half. I think. Um, now I will say I love the paper. Um, the sketchbook. Yeah, I had you. I had to quote unquote condition it to get it to even sort of lie flat. Um, and what do I mean by that? I mean like do this and, and bend it back on itself like every single page because it doesn't really want to naturally lie flat. Um, so that's probably my gripe. And I'm not a huge fan of spiral bound notebooks so um, or sketchbooks. So I kind of wish that they had created one that had sort of a cover but lie, lay flat. I don't know. Um, if anybody has any... Um, ideas about sketchbooks, ones that open and lay really flat so you can sketch on both sides of the paper. I especially love the Strathmore um, Tone Tan paper. Um, let me know, leave something in the comments below. Um, but yeah, and now that I've bent every single page, now it does much better. But um, I started out in the sketchbook just sort of messing around to be honest and doing sort of these things. And then COVID happened and <laughs> I started playing with faces and seeing what kind of other mediums besides gel pen would work in here um, and messing around still with drawing. Um, fun fact, it really doesn't like um, like Sharpie. I think this is Sharpie. I don't think it's paint pen. I think it's a Sharpie pen. Anyway, it doesn't like it. Um, so it, it bleeds through. But all the other pen, it seems to take really well. This is a little bit of water-soluble crayon on this penguin, and it actually did very well. It, you can barely see it through the other side. Um, it takes different kinds of gel pens and ballpoint pens and pencil brilliantly. Um, so I did this. We went, right before the fire started in Oregon, we went on a, on a drive just to get out of the house. We drove around. Um, the area and the different counties and we ended up in Mount Angel and there was a store sign. Um, I'll put, put the picture here. Um, I think that they sold honey and things. I think it was, it might've been a tea shop, but anyway, they had this cute bee on their sign. So I came home and drew him. Another day we went, um, literally the day the smoke and fire started getting bad here in, in the Oregon area where I live, we went to the Japanese gardens in Portland and we, I love the koi pond. So I drew a koi fish and then they had a bunch of bonsai trees. So they had a little tiny bonsai apple tree. So I drew that. And then I started doing these. So these are inspired by nature pictures that I've taken either recently or in the recent past. They are a lot of fun. I'm not attempting to exactly copy the nature. I'm just being inspired by said nature piece, even this one. And then um, this one. Now my friend Mike Deacon posted um, his vlog today and in it he talks about one of the flowering vines in his backyard um, and he showed it a close up of it on camera. And um, I did what I could to get a screenshot of it because I really wanted to be inspired by that to draw it. So we're gonna do that today. First I need some water, so hang on. Okay. So let me pull the picture up on my pad. So this is the flower. I'm not great with names of flowers, so I don't know what, what that is, but <clears throat> we're gonna um, be inspired by that. Sometimes I'm inspired to use the exact color of the flower, sometimes I'm not. For the most part, I use gel pens. These are just jelly roll gel pens. I have the number six, I have the tens, which is just different nib size. Oh, there's a few eights in here too. I really kind of just go by the colors. Um, they have some muted colors and some bright colors. I have a lot of there. I even have the metallics, but honestly, the metallics like sit in here. I rarely use them. I probably have way too many of them because for how much I use them, because I just really don't. I should probably rethink even having them in here to be honest with you. Um, okay, so for this flower, I think for the moment we're going to stick with, we're initially going to pick a couple of purples. 
I'm gonna want a green because it has a green center. And I think I'm gonna wanna pick a blue. We're gonna pick out a couple of blues and we're gonna try them on a scrap of paper, which is something I always do. Let's try this purple too. I don't think it's gonna be the right one, but let's try it and see. <clears throat> so sometimes they use white paper, sometimes they use this paper, I just whatever's handy. I've got scraps of paper in here. So let's see. Mm, no, that's too gray. I think I'm gonna want this one for the light purple, yeah. I'm gonna want this one for the dark purple, yeah. I think I'm gonna want this one for the green, yep. And then I think I wanna add a blue. The question is, which blue? No, I don't think that one. Um, maybe. I think this one's too bright. I think we're gonna go with the light pale blue. The only other one I would do would be maybe this turquoise blue. Oh, yeah, turquoise blue. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I usually start with like the main color <clears throat> of the piece I'm being inspired by, but I don't always. And in this case, I'm going to start with, hmm, yeah, I'm gonna start with the main color. No, I'm not. I'm gonna start with the green. <clears throat> so these flowers have a green center. And again, we're looking to be inspired by and we're not looking to copy. I have to put my reading glasses on, otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. I'll zoom in for you guys right about here. Now this is one of their newer colors, I think. Um, I have, this is the six. I do wish sometimes I had these in a bigger nib. I know a lot of illustrators like to, uh, they like their pens, but they like them in small nibs. I generally like bigger nibs, so I'm the opposite. Not that I'm a professional illustrator or anything, but I try. So I'm just making sort of a funny shaped circle here. And I think I'm gonna add a pop of another color. I have this sort of dark goldy color, which I think might be nice in this flower center. So we're gonna add some dots. and or like teardroppy shapes. I have found that the Sakura Jelly Roll pens do layer actually very nicely on top of each other. If you just wait for the one on the bottom to mostly dry, I think we're gonna do that. So what color was this? This was, I don't know, number 415 and this is 432. I think that's what the color is. Yeah. All right, so then we're gonna go with our light purple. I'm gonna do sort of these long, drawn out, teardroppy kind of shapes.
You want to be careful not to stick your hand in the gel pen <laughs> when you're doing this because it takes a minute to dry and it's probably still wet when you're going around. Sorry about the pinging in the background, it's my computer. My art friends must be chatting. And I forgot to turn it off. So, so far we have that. It's cute, huh? Okay. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. Again, inspired by, we're not looking to exactly copy, right? Now, I do think I'm going to turn some of these drawings into stickers for the Etsy shop. I might actually make sticker flakes for those of you who are into stationery and that sort of thing, you know what that means? Little packs of individually cut stickers and printed stickers. So look for that. I'm not exactly sure when, so if you're interested and you want to be sort of on the waiting list when I do make them, let me know. I like that. I don't think I want to add any more. Okay, so now we're going to take the dark purple and we're going to do our sort of uh, petal shapes that are part of our flower. Now this is, let's see, that purple one was 423. This one is 424. Um, these are all sixes. This one doesn't say, so it might be a ten, uh, 10, I don't know. Doesn't say on here anywhere. Um, okay. Okay, that's a good basic shape, but I'm not done yet. So I'm gonna take our shape. I'm gonna decide where and when to thicken the lines and attach them to each other and then fill in the space and do that and go all the way around.
And what I will also do probably is do this. The broken lines and dots seem to be part of what I'm drawing when I'm making these. I always think, oh, I'm not going to put those this time, and then I always end up putting them anyways. This is a fatter pen. It doesn't have a nib, uh, nib size on it, but it's probably a 10. So just work your way all the way around.
Okay. So then we have sort of our pop highlight color on this one. I think it was the same color pen. Um, I'm still debating about what color I should use. Let's see. I do love the way that looks. Still wondering if I should use this blue, the one that I dismissed the first time. Hmm. Choices, right? Can't take it back once you get it on there. Does it even need it? Does it even need the pop of blue? I'm thinking if I'm debating it that hard, maybe it doesn't even need it. There is a, a pop of blue on the original flowers down the center. But you know, we could go back to using this pale blue, which actually might work. So then what I would do... Yeah, this is a good color. I can tell you the minute it hits the page. It's there, but it's not smack you in the face there. That's an art thing, right? Smack you in the face there. Yeah, that's perfect. This is number, what number is this? This is a 06 nib, by the way. This is number 425. That's what it says on here. And no, this video is not sponsored by Strathmore or Jelly Roll, but you know, if y'all are watching and you want to sponsor, you know, I love your paper, Strathmore, and I love your pens, Jelly Roll. Sakura. I love your pens. So I'm just drawing elongated ovals, different sizes at least three down the center of each petal and look at what that does it gives it a nice pop so i share my daily drawings good or bad some of them don't turn out but i share them anyway on social media so number one if you think you can't draw I don't draw perfect all the time either. I don't, I'm not great at necessarily drawing. So, but sometimes it, I get lucky and it turns out. I just practice a lot. So if you think you can't, I hope that my sharing my successes and failures with you on social media helps you give it a shot anyway. And if you wanna see what daily drawings I do do, Follow me over on Instagram or something. I'm not on Twitter anymore. I'm on Instagram though. And I have a Facebook, a couple of Facebook art groups and a Facebook page. So you can follow me or join the groups. But if you don't do Facebook, you can follow me on Instagram. I share daily drawings when I am out going on my evening walks when I'm able I want to take pictures of that. I share all kinds of stuff, so. Anyway, one more. I'll be taking a picture of this later and sending it over to Mike since it was inspired by his garden. Yeah, look at that. I love it. So. Something simple, just some paper and some gel pens. I, it's nothing, you know, expensive or anything. These are simple materials. Um, so there you go. I hope it gives you some inspi inspiration about what you can do and how you can do it and take it into a new, unique and different way. I do think we're going to be scanning some of these drawings and turning them into some kind of stickers for the Etsy shop. So if you're interested, let me know. All of them are inspired by nature pictures of some sort. And... Um, 
probably because of the Oregon fires right now on the day I'm filming this and I can't go outside and I'm kind of missing my evening walks, but that's okay. I'm going to keep doing this because I'm having a lot of fun doing them. So anyway, if you want to, again, follow me on social media or support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, um, you can click on my link tree list of links in the video description and you'll find all the different places I am on the internet and all my Etsy store and Patreon and all of that stuff. Um, patrons usually get free copies of things, just FYI, either digitally or physically in the mail, just FYI. Um, anyway, um, so check that out. And not just for me though, go check out your favorite content creators. They probably have a way to support their free content. It usually is in the video description, but not always. If you can't find it, ask them and um, maybe they can send you the appropriate links. Um, don't forget to stay safe, stay creative, and stay healthy. And go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. I think I need to go through those metallic gel pens. All right. Bye, guys.